Mitzvah, the Parsha Mesha Mitzvah. We have in our midst today a very Choshev who had a lot of Gechelik in the Hashem and in the Hasek Tayri. One of our members of our community, he came to me and he said that uh, he's going to have a Malu Tov Suna and the Eneko. And basically, by the modernity, they know, they, by them, everything, they have it all figured out. They know it's exactly the due date, and the, it's going to be a Zohar, and that the, the bris is going to come out to be on a Sunday, which, will, which came out to be Sunday, Rish Chodesh Adar. So he said uh, his son-in-law is unemployed, and uh, he said the, the Amoyo will not take medical coverage, so, and the doctor, the obstetrician, two days after the baby's born, before he leaves the hospital, the doctor will make the, uh, make the risk. Won't cost him anything. It's one problem. The second, the second problem he said he has is that uh, the, the, it works out very well with the obstetrician, he said, because if they'll make the risk on the eighth day, he says, that's a Sunday, and they're planning a farewell, say from the and for the his son in law's father is leaving town, so he's making a a uh on Shon for his how I say he says, a say on the show a fellow party you can't postpone. But a British said you could postpone. So so he came up. so I told him I said uh, I, I can solve both problems for you. I said, I have a moil was on Tel Amaisi that for for two hundred dollars uh uh say you should, shouldn't be beaten with not a bridge. So I, I told him I said, I have a moil that takes medical coverage. He said, really? I said, yeah. A next for not just a mother, it's a doctor. He's a doctor. A mother. He said, and secondly, I said, you worry about the conflict. I said, when, when do you plan the farewell party? Uh, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock? He said, no, 4 in the afternoon. I said, the bridge we make Sunday morning after service. We have service at 8.30. I said, you'll come 9.30. The ninth will be the bridge. And uh, my rabbits and my daughters, they'll carry you a breakfast, a beautiful, just come as a guest. And uh, I called up one of his father, there, Jason Lebslog, and I told him that he, wanted, uh, he could help us make a few things for the breakfast. Not only a few things, he came running with his logos inside, he came running with the lux, with a luxury breakfast. So when we came to the bris, so the, we introduced, it, it was, I called up, a moil from New Square, our um, Mordechai Kohn, his father was a famous Hanania Kohn, famous moil. I told him we have a, 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 a Thomas doing here. I said, well, our Bismarck will pay you. Come, you make the bris. He said, yeah, no problem. I said, you just tell the the the, uh, the, 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 the mom, as I say, you tell them that, the, that the, you take the medical coverage. Mm -hmm. so, so he came like this. He came a day or two before the bris, 70 miles here, 7 miles back, it's 140 miles to see the baby. He came the day the bris, another 140, is 280 miles. Then he came after the bris to see everything in order. So to, it was a, a kind one from you know, 420 miles. So when I came to pay him, I said, I said, here, we'll make out a check. He said, 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 for, for two hundred dollars he would never, he would never. So I kissed him, so uh, Mr. Marshall, he had my father is a friend of Rachel. The Gemara Baba says, I'm a rabbi. The Gemara says that a crazy of somebody writes a favorite story, so he shouldn't write it about Pe. Even though he's a bucky about Pe in in Kolat in 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 Persia, he says he has to have in front of him. To copy when he writes to say, but I said in front of him a paper to look from and to copy. So when everybody goes out into life and they go and write their own sacred prayer, their own sacred, so fortunate are those that had a father, a mishpoche, to copy from. We were Baruch Hashem, that fortunate. We had a father, he left this world, he was 36 years old, but in his 36 years, he was, he had the big chus and my mother Allah shown to be miyasim from the first three yeshivik in America. 
the uh, uh, the Arizal Simon Darthay Arizal says like this Rachel that whoever is nizer he's very careful he's safe he cautious that he that he in Mashu Chom it's a whole Pesach whole Pesach passes and he he doesn't on his lips doesn't pass a Mashu Chom is Muftoch Shulayech the Kolashana it's a guarantee that he will not be a whole year, he'll be clear, clean, if you have a clean slate, he won't be over any of theirs. So, fact of Alta Kashi, they ask like this here. More brings in a few places, in Psochim, in Shabbos, in Chul, more brings like this here, that Toshis uh, asked Akashi, more brings that by the, by, uh, the Maishe of the Chamor of Pinchas ben Yoyer. Pinchas ben Yoyer, he was, went into an, an inn and they offered the, the Chamor, they offered the, the donkey to eat. The donkey wouldn't eat if she was to eat. So he said, you better check to see. If my donkey doesn't eat, it's not because he, it's not his taste. So he found out there was a, a problem with the Mai. That whatever they took was the Maishe, it wasn't done very correctly. So the Gemara says, Akhval, ma behemton shal tzaddikim. If, a, if a, even a man of a tzaddik is, is a Kodesh Baruch Hu, the watches him, that he shouldn't do a chet, so I think he must only call Shukim. Tzaddik himself, certainly, the Baruch Hu, God, save God, the tzaddik, he should. So Toysh said, in this company, he asks, the Gemara brings the Rav Ami, but the Toysh, he, Drank before Abdullah and he was punished. He was punished. He drank before Abdullah and he was punished. So, Zaktoysis, what happened to the cloth from Ben Mishal Tzadikim? He said, Ben Mishal Tzadikim, that Ben Mishal watches him. How is it that he, he did not bear? So, Toysis said, the difference is like this. By the story of the Hamor of Pinchat Ben Yoyer, there it was Mirid Achile. It was something, food itself, that was forbidden to eat. Was the Mai. So for this, the tzaddik to digest in his intestines, that's a Gnai for him. It should enter his intestines something that's not kosher. But here, to drink before Abdullah, the thing itself was heter. What he was drinking was kosher. But it's just that he didn't make Abdullah yet, so the Afazay right to that that far, the Krab and Tzaddikim doesn't, doesn't come. So, in fact, about Akashi, like, they put both together. Mashu Chomis is Mizdachil. So the Kval from Behemton Shal Tzadikim, from the Chamor Pichel Ben Yoyer, there should have safeguarded Rabami that he shouldn't be Nizr Mashu Chomis. So we must say that he certainly, a whole Pesach, he certainly didn't, he wasn't Nizr Mashu Chomis. He was he, he was nizer, man, he did not eat a hummus. So if he was nizer and majul hummus, if he was safeguarded from from ever passing his lips a drop of hummus, so then how did it happen that he that he drank before Abdullah? The, the Arizal says, but she does the kolash on any kind of avera, not just me, Zahile, any kind of avera. So how is it that it happened that he drank before Abdullah? So I, to answer this question, I say, well, I made a question like this here. The, when does this special safeguard, this chus, as someone who is Nizra Mashu Chomis Pesach, when does it begin and how long does it last? We have to say it begins Moitso Yonte Pesach. A whole Pesach went through. He was Nizra Mashu Chomis. So, Maitsoi Yontif, then he gains that safeguard, that shmir, that hagone, that he shouldn't uh, do a chet. How long does it last? It lasts only till Erev Yontif, the next Pesach. Because if he'll go from one year to the next, so then he won't have, he won't go through the test again. One time in his lifetime, he'll be Nizra Maju Chomis, if he goes from one year to the next, it has to last only until Erev Pesach next year. And then he has to go through the test again for the following year. So I said, 
it's time, both things are everything in order because Madame Mitake, he he was he would like to call them so that he can use he was in the Mashu Hamas. I how how did you bring the Prophet Bala? Because it was a Bala and Shabbos Chalamoy Pesach. Shabbos Chalamoy, he wasn't so yet in that Shmir that had gone so he, so he was able to he, he didn't have that. That the one that Shmir from the Arizal Musal Shalom Kolashon. Hani Makash Shoyim and Ratzah Kolashbol Zaki Shish Yisrael. Live here on Perimisim Hinamak. Avinu Chavish Manchitoy. Yavu Periyadim.